Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing these Travel Size Aura Bella by Bella Haddad. They're perfumes. This is actually my favorite. And you can see the difference. They are unisex fragrance. And you actually have to shake them to activate them because they are both oil-based. And look at that. So they're clear. And then you give them a little shake. And it incorporates... There we go, all the bubbles. It incorporates the oils in there to activate. And that is what makes them extra special. I don't currently own any perfumes and fragrances that are oil-based like this, and I have about 100. <laughs> um, Aurabella did it up right. Now, despite how you feel about Bella Haddad and um, the marketing and whatnot, it's up to you, but these are in my book really cool they're very different and um i mean really what else can you do with perfume we have perfume everything so why not make it oil-based normally they say to get perfume to last on your body put a little layer of lotion or um, petroleum jelly anything with like a grip and they just did that for you they're oil-based and when you spray them my gosh blooming fire is my absolute favorite it smells it smells really really good like Maybe they'll have a body wash someday. But when you spray, you don't just spray in the air, it's oil. So you have to get it right on your right on your skin, okay? Oh, right in your eye, just like that. Okay, so when you rub it on your skin like that, I don't know if you could, oh, you could see. It's glowy, it's glowy. So it even dries down glowy, smells out of this world, and it's like an oily base. It's essential oils. Um, it's vegan and it is 0.33 ounce a very good travel size it retails for 35 and i do um, want to tell you about the notes this is a more manly fragrance this one i don't like as much i mean i'm going to use it and they also have another one which the name is escaping me because they put three out i do not have the third one this smells very if you like cedar wood or woodsy fragrance or like a more masculine fragrant you will like it wear it um, otherwise, give it to your boyfriend or husband, and hopefully they'll like it. It's very woodsy. Like, I almost feel like I'm walking into Home Depot or Lowe's, and it's not a bad smell. It's just not very, you know, fruity floral. This is called a warm floral, and this is a woodsy um, fragrance, and I'm going to be reading to you what they're about. I already said they're $35 each. This one, I think on Ulta said it was the most popular, and actually it sold out. And they do still have the Salted Muse and the other one that just escaped my mind. Okay, so, okay. So Blooming Fire, let's talk about Blooming Fire, I'm reading. So it's considered a warm floral, like I said. The notes are bergamot. Oh, it even has some cedar wood, very light. And the base is patchouli, clove oil and cardamom. And the middle notes is mani. So, I don't smell the wood anymore, the woodsy scent. I don't like woodsy scents in perfumes, but like a sandalwood scent, like Le Labo 33, I think that's the one that everybody loves that I just don't like. When it dries down, you are not um, smelling that. So I can, what I'm smelling right now is actually clove. I'm actually smelling clove, and it is considered a warm floral, and I, and I guess it's the money that's in there, because I'm like, where's the floral? Anyways. I am not an expert on perfumes. I just like them, you know? Okay, so the next one is the Salted Muse. Top notes are sea salt and pink pepper. Middle notes is olive tree and lavender. I wanna go smell a lot. I wanna go smell an olive tree. I've never smelled an olive tree, have you? And the base is woods and amber. Okay. I feel like if it's not patchouli, it's amber, it seems like in all of these fragrances. Again, you you just give it a cute little shake like that. And that smell's gonna be lasting all day. It doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel oily, but yet there's a sheen on your skin, such like a moisturizer, basically. You do not need to add any base. It's gonna stay there and you could smell it all day long. So the other one that I don't care for, I'm still gonna spray it and show you. Oof, okay, there we go and rub her in like that it's it's a beautiful glow it really is a pretty glow and i just i don't like it 
I want to know who 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 really loves salted muse okay have you tried them all and it's like salted muse that's going to be my new signature scent who who loves this um that sounds just awful to say i'm sure a lot of people love it but again wood like home depot you're in the wood section of home depot or lowe's and you know maybe you want to smell like wood you know so salted muse again um, sea salt black pepper maybe black pepper black pepper no not black pepper pink pepper i don't think i've ever smelled pink pepper is pink pepper a thing i have white pepper and black pepper okay um olive tree woods and amber lavender i don't smell any lavender either but anyways have you tried either one of these fragrances let me know i'm curious what's your favorite comment below if you do have a favorite and the other one is i think it's like a pink bottle Ugh, it's bothering me i'll google it now to see which one i don't have but these are the only two i have this one is sold out on ulta right now this one is not and i'm not sure about sephora so thank you so much for watching i appreciate it like and comment below share and thank you for your support have a nice day. Bye-bye.